Welcome to Room 6, the channel dedicated to the local music scene and the people that make it, including me. I'm Josh, and today we're back at Soul Belly Barbecue for another great songwriter showcase hosted by Hal Savar. Located at Imperial and Main on Brewery Row in downtown Las Vegas, this venue has really turned into a great live music destination with amazing food thrown in as well. Now then, who's ready to get weird? And by weird, I mean messy. <laughs> First, I need to give you all a heads up. I'm taking a vacation, so I won't be at the next two showcases to live stream or review them. <coughs> you okay? I know it's a shock. Anywho, to make things even weirder, this week's showcase was full of late starts, lineup changes, and mystery guests. Once things got rolling, however, the show was kicked off like usual by our host, Hal Savar. Performing for many years in town as a human jukebox has taught Hal the art of warming up a crowd and setting the bar high for acts to follow. This time was no different as Hal introduced a new song that was equal parts touching and poignant. He had the audience in the palm of his hand and did a great job of opening things up. Following Hal was friend of the showcase and Room 6 alumni, Johnny Fab. Johnny is a consummate showman who epitomizes lounge singer cool with wry humor and a crooner's sense of timing and phrasing. He's so fun to watch and is always full of surprises for unwary music lovers. Due to some of those previously mentioned lineup changes, the first surprise performer of the night was Just Jeff. Yes, that's his stage name, and yes, he really is that funny in real life. Jeff is one half of recent friends of the channel All at Odds, a new group in the making that I foresee big things from in the future. Just like Johnny Fab, Jeff mixes talent with clever and humorous lyrics that keep the listener guessing and entertained. Another surprise twist was up next in the form of one of two musicians from the same band. First batter up was Sam Kaywood, Cawood? and he's the drummer of that group. Sam's music can best be summed up as reminiscent of Johnny Cash, but with a style all his own. With a lack of stage histrionics, the audience is forced to focus on his lyrics, which are relatable and tell a story we're all familiar with. Up next was Showcase longtime friend Sage Waters, who was joined by Denny Mishler on guitar. Sage's voice rang out as the two of them played complimentary guitars, highlighting Sage's songwriting and vocal runs in a very flattering way. She's always a treat to watch, and the addition of Denny just made it all the better. Next on stage was Joe LaRocco, the second member of the same band that Sam belongs to. Joe's a huge supporter of the channel, and I'm looking forward to getting him and the whole band on someday soon. Joe turned up the kooky quotient for the evening with music that he describes as kinda crazy. Evoking memories of Pink Floyd and Randy Newman, it was different and refreshing than the usual showcase fair, and the crowd appreciated it. From the new to the veteran showcase performers, the next act was David Wax. David has been on the showcase a lot, and every time he plays, things tend to get grounded. His songwriting is solid, and his vocals ring out clear and strong in a way that can reset the most chaotic of evenings. At last, it was time for that band I've been referencing, you know, the one with Sam and Joe in it? That's right. Next up was the Soulful Sons. Playing the showcase for the second week in a row, this band spawned out of perennial showcase performer Quinn Turner's music and has grown into a more layered and nuanced affair. Like I said about Joe, I look forward to hopefully getting the band on the channel soon. Keeping the surprises coming, Hal got on the microphone to let everyone know that this would be the first in a monthly series of showcases featuring a particular act doing a 30-minute set all their own. This time, the baton would be passed to Carl John and his band, The New West Revival. Cranking things up a bit, this band took Carl's musical journey and turned it up to 11. I had Carl John in room 6 and heard these songs with just him, but with a band it all just bloomed into an unstoppable force. It was a great high note to the evening, and I'm glad I got the chance to catch it. Following Carl and the band was a tough act to follow, but fortunately, Hal had one more ace up his sleeve in the form of Robert Stokes. Robert's music tends to be a little bit of reggae and a little bit of ska mixed into his own blend that put a nice nightcap on the event. Always fun to talk to and to listen to, Robert is a treat, and if you get the chance to catch him live, you should take it. Overall, this week's songwriter showcase at Soul Belly Barbecue was great. I hope we'll see you at the next one, although I won't be there for the next two. Either in person or maybe on a live stream. 
In the meantime, if you want to see more videos like this, please click up here. And if you'd like to subscribe to the channel, it really does mean a lot, please click down there and don't forget to ring the bell. Oh, and if you want to be on the showcase, hit up Hal at his social media, which is in the description. Make sure you follow all the other artists that I've mentioned using their social media. And if you want to support the channel, go ahead and use the Room 6 social media link down there as well. Uh, yeah, remember to be amazing and awesome, and we'll see you next time on Room 6.